Hello, hello everybody that's joining me today. Hi Roz. Hello. Welcome to my live stream. Today we're going to upcycle um, these candlesticks that I found in my local charity shop. And I just thought um, they look very, very interesting, but just black is a little bit boring. So um, I want to alter them a little bit and make them into something a little bit cool and make them into not exactly the same but like a matching pair of candlesticks rather than um you know them being exactly the same love your santa hat well it is the 23rd of december you know <laughs> if any time is um you know a good time to wear a hat today is that day right so i'm going to um tilt you downwards so that you can see what i'm doing and we'll get started kind of straight away so um the idea for these um candlesticks is for me to make one of them um with this moon casting and one with this um sun casting so um they're gonna be like a sun and moon matching pair you know um of candlesticks so I casted these things with um, resin out of stars and moons mold by Finnebar so I used um, this is the moon and this is the Sun and then um, we're going to kind of attach them here in the middle because I think that's like these um, two circular bits here on the candlesticks are like the you know sort of like the perfect frame for these two molds and then we're also going to play around with um, magic potion and um, golden dragon um, effect paste on kind of um, either one of the candlesticks and also maybe add a little bit of crushed ice and um, we're going to use old silver and vintage gold waxes today so um, the plan is to attach them all um, use a little bit of gesso to kind of prime everything um, make one candlestick gold make the other one silver and then you know make them into a matching pair um, hi Teresa hi Katarzyna after a long day I just finished cooking oh wow are you all ready for Christmas <laughs> hello right so let's get started First, we're going to attach our moldings. Um, I'm going to have to like kind of balance them a little bit like this. So, we'll start with the sun. That's going to go here in the middle. And I'm going to use heavy body gel to attach them onto here. So, heavy body gel is just like a really, really strong adhesive and I'm going to just put some of it on here on the edges place it on and hopefully it will hold if it if it keeps sliding around for too long the bonus is that I can just leave them um, in this like horizontal position until they um, kind of stick together but if they refuse to stick together because heavy body gel can take a little bit of time to um, you know to, to adhere um, I might have to use hot glue just to kind of keep it in place for the time being until heavy body gel kind of activates and dries. Because once it's dry, it's not going to go anywhere, but it takes a little bit of time for it to actually dry. And then the moon, we're going to sit it here in the middle as well. Is your hair pink? Yes, it is. <laughs> I um, took a trip to the hairdressers today 
and got them to dye my hair pink. Well, it's ombre, so like the top is still brown, but the ends are pink. <laughs> Thank you. Hi, Inge. How are you? How are you today? Right, so let's place these on. Okay, it's still kind of sliding around a little bit. So I do have my um, my glue gun here. So I'm just going to lift it up and just add a little bit on either end just so that it holds it in place for the time being Gun isn't like taking this. That being said, my um, glue gun really isn't the best. I really need to invest in a better one. Okay, let's let this set for a minute. Let's see what happens. Just put a little bit of hot glue here on the moon as well. And let's leave it for a few minutes. Hi Sheila. Oh, thank you. <laughs> yes, it's um, it was one of those spontaneous decisions. I decided that it's time for me to do something with my hair before I um, go crazy and chop it all off. Right, I'm just going to give it a quick blast with the heat first to try and get the um, heavy body gel to kind of stick a little bit better as well so that they stay in place. for a bit so next I'm gonna take some of this black gesso so this is going to be our primer and it's gonna help us apply the wax and um, everything else so if you want to paint something like that you always have to uh, prime it with um, with a primer first of all um, this is already black so you know we don't have to paint over it again um, in that sense so if I just apply a thin coat of primer it'll do so I don't have to like change the color How 
is everybody doing today? What have you been up to? Are you all ready for Christmas? If you're celebrating? Have you done all of the cooking, all of the prepping? Because like, I haven't done anything yet. Not that I'm going to really, because I don't really cook. <laughs> All this film about awesomeness um, has found its way to me. I'm loving their products so far. Yes, they are really, really amazing, great quality perfect for what we do so I'm just applying a quick coat of primer all over the candlestick So I've applied some primer to the base here and then I'm also going to apply a little bit of primer like on the very top part but I'm not going to do anything to the inside you know where the actual candle is going to go. I'm going to leave that because I think that's you know pretty pointless. to get in on the inside so before I um, do the inside part of you know where I, I applied the mold I'm just gonna quickly um, give it another blow dry with the heat gun so that I can like hold it in place <laughs> doing decoupage today um, to to worry about Christmas yes that's basically me <laughs> too busy creating to worry about Christmas <laughs> okay so that's this one done you know it's still quite like wobbly so if all else fails if it doesn't want to stick we'll just have to use um, you call it super glue that's definitely gonna hold it in place mind you this one the moon is holding in place much better than the Sun so I may have not maybe I didn't apply enough um, of the heavy body gel um, on there so I might have to go back to it and just apply a little bit more Getting the wax off of these was a bit of a pain. When I bought them, they were 
filled with wax and like leftovers of of candles that were once inside so in the end and um, like I tried the freezer trick because um, I've done it before with old um, candle jars and stuff you know to put it in the freezer and then it just kind of um, the wax just pops pops off and that did not work at all um, it was there to stay so I um, in the end I scraped off as much as I can with um, a knife and then I used the heat gun to kind of melt the wax and then I dabbed it off with a paper towel and that was um, and I should have just done that with <laughs> you know first thing without even scraping because that worked really really well <clears throat> ready for the rest that comes on Christmas afternoon after all the hustle and bustle yes I agree dinner for Christmas is in my daughter's hand this year oh wow that must feel really nice <laughs> to be able to pass it on eventually you know finally you can take a step back and have somebody else worry about it. Hi, Karen. Hello. How are you today? I hope you're doing okay. Hope you're well. very excited to make these because these are going to go on my Christmas table. I just need to um, buy some candles <laughs> to put inside. <laughs> Haven't done that yet. So these are going to come just in time for Christmas. So covering this whole thing with black gesso is going to help all of the effect paste and um, waxes kind of stick on a little bit better. It creates a nice uh, matte finish that all of the waxes and everything are going to um, kind of stay on. And it also helps cover up all of the little like dents and chips and everything that is on these you know just from being used yes absolutely hi Evelyn just listening and watching today well you worked really hard these past two days with me <laughs> creating the lantern so nice to just sit back and watch sometimes isn't it okay again I'm gonna get the heat gun out get it dry let's have a look is this still wobbly Still a little bit wobbly, right? I'm gonna pick it off a little bit and put a little bit more heavy body gel on the inside there because I, I think I may have not put enough in, you know, just like a layer that's a little bit too thin so it's not like sticking on. Okay. 
place it on. Pressing it down to try and get it to go into all of the little parts. And then we're going to set this one to the side and just let it sit there. Right. Um, and dry up a little bit. <coughs> I'm working. <laughs> right. Okay, all dry. So, watching black gesso dry is like one of my favorite um, things when you're using a heat gun because you can actually see it go from like a glossy finish to turn in this like very matte um, finish. So now I'm going to oops apply some of this silver wax. So the sun is going to be the gold, um, and our moon is going to be the um, silver one. So I'm going to use Old Silver Metallic Wax by Finnebar. I'm going to squeeze some out here. And this time I'm going to go straight for the brush. I'm using a stencil brush. So it's got natural bristles. And I'm going to apply it in this kind of motion from outside in and that way we get more wax on the outside edges but it doesn't really go into the crease between the moon and the base and it creates like a nice um, shade so you don't reach into that bit and it gives you like a natural shadow Same on the other side. And then I'm going to go on the actual stick part. I'm going to go from the moon and away towards the base and same here at the top from the moon and away almost like not reaching into the bits um, of the base and the top part and then again it creates like a shadow turn it over And then again, same story, coming from the um, from the centerpiece and away. So that's the stick, and then for the base, I think we'll go from the out outside inwards. And this kind of more rounded motion. So 
and I'm lightening the touch as I go in. So I'm going a little bit heavy on the outside and lightening the touch to kind of create like a natural ombre effect. This is where we are so far. Let's turn it round. Again, go on the outside inwards. Once we're done with this silver wax, we're going to apply some um, Magic Potion Effect Face, so that's from Finnabar's new release, um, the full release. I haven't used the Magic Potion yet, um, like on a project, I've swatched it out but I haven't used it yet, So, but I think it'll go really nicely together with um, with the silver so that's our silver moon candlestick and then so we're gonna take some of this magic potion effect paste this is what it looks like when it's wet um, once it dries so let me show you it has like oh Jesus I have a lot of things falling out of my hands today one of them days, <laughs> my hands do not want to um, listen to me today. So it's like a, um, like almost like a gel medium type of paste, but it has like little bits of oil and glitter and uh, like shiny and sparkly things on the inside. Um, so once it dries, all of this like um, opaque purpley substance that you can see is going to disappear. And all you're going to be left with is like the, the little foils and the glitters and everything. So it creates a, like a really, really magical look. And I'm not going to apply it on too thickly. I'm just going to take a brush and I'm going to scoop it up and I'm going to apply it um, downwards from the moon. wrap the foil bits around a little bit so the true magic of these um, effect pastes um, really comes out when um, when the opaque paste is all dry, so then you can really see like the look of the paste without any like um, opaque bits obscuring it. I think we might also add some metallic um, beads into it as well um, just looking at it now I feel like I feel like adding some some a little bit extra extra here I said I wasn't gonna apply it too thickly but there I am applying it real thickly because I like it because <laughs> I like the way that it looks okay and 
so that's what the um, paste on it's a nice candle scent yes it really is I'm going to grab my um, beads there they are beads and glitters right I think we'll use this these silver beads um, for the silver candlestick and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to sprinkle a little bit over the potion magic potion paste And you can take a clean brush when you're applying it onto um, this kind of paste. You can take a clean brush and just dab them a little bit so that they um, stick in a little bit better and then um, you don't lose as many once you lift it. I really like the added <laughs> metallic beads. And then I think we'll also take some soft gloss gel. This is, um, well, basically just like a gel medium. I'm just going to um, squeeze some out onto the plate. It also works as um, basically like, um, like a glue. All these kind of things like glitters and metallic beads and stuff. And then we'll apply some of this soft gloss gel onto the base. From the center and outwards. Now this is me improvising. <laughs> I did not um, plan to do um, to add metallic beads today, but you know what? I like the creative freedom. So I just kind of applied it um, in a way where I've got quite a bit of gel on the inside here. Um, close to the actual stick and then I'm kind of um, made it almost like a star pattern going out and we'll take some more of these beads and just sprinkle them on We've created like a little sprinkly cluster. Now we can set this one to the side. I don't know, we might add a little bit extra to it in a bit. Um, but for now, I want to move on to, to the sun. And our sun is nicely adhered now. It's not going anywhere, which is good. So all it needed was a little bit extra um, extra gel um, heavy body gel on it it wasn't enough sometimes that can happen when you're using um, resin castings if it's not like perfectly smooth or even um, you know it may happen so I'm just gonna dry it quickly again
Now we're going to move on to applying some wax onto our sun. And for the sun, I'm going to use my favorite vintage gold. This is by far my favorite um, Finnabar wax. <laughs> Definitely a staple on my desk. And then again, I'm taking a clean stencil brush and I'm going to do the same process as we did with the, with the moon. This is not a good brush, too short. Where is my other? Bristles are too stiff on this one, so it's applying too much of the um, of the wax and it's not spreading it out as easily. There you go, much better bristles on this one are much softer so it lays down a lot more, a lot better Fill in the face of our sun and again do the same process going away from the sun. I'm gonna apply the gold onto the stick. Hi Irma. Hi Eileen. It's okay, you can watch back. You can watch it later. Don't forget the back side. I might have to go back in into the inside of the sun because then as you can see I still got a little bit of um, heavy body gel that isn't fully dry so once once it's dry I'm gonna go back in and fill fill the inside in <laughs> she got pink hair since yesterday. <laughs> yes, it was a long day today. <laughs> and then again, going from the outside in, gonna apply the wax. Anybody else here loves using waxes as much as I do, as I am like obsessed. This is definitely one of my favorite ways to um, add details and sparkles and color um, onto like these kind of 3D surfaces. Let's put some on this side now. Don't forget the top. Need a bit more wax.
so let's have a quick comparison so we have our moon which is all silver and our sun which is all gold of course we need to wait for the effect paste to dry to be able to see the full um, the full effect of it um, without like the um, the opaque purpley tint here but you can see where we're going with this hi Mel yes that gold wax is um, amazing all right and on the gold one on our sun we're going to use the golden dragon paste which is um, similar to magic potion but it's gold and again I'm going to take a brush this gold paste onto the stick and around the sun so if you want to see the full kind of effect of these paste I'm gonna take some pictures tomorrow once it's all dry and then I'll post them here and you know on my page and everywhere so um, you'll be able to see what they look like once they're fully dry because they take a little bit of time to dry So that's the um, golden dragon is on. Now we're going to take some soft gloss gel again to put on some of the metallic beads. But this time I'm going to use um, gold metallic beads. Which one should I use? Like the white gold or the gold gold? Let me know which ones you would rather see and which ones you think I should use. And while I get my soft gloss gel, So again, I'm going to apply it onto the face, just like I did earlier with the silver one. I lean white gold. Yeah, I think white gold is probably going to look better with the colours. Now also white gold, okay. Evelyn also white, okay, well, white it is then. So again, same story. I'm gonna pick this up and sprinkle a little bit over the effect paste. Well, 
Oh, there we go. So we've got the silver and the gold candlesticks, the sun and the moon. And together, I think they make a lovely pair. What do you think? I think that's going to be... Um, I think that's all I want to do to them. So um, we'll see the full effect. <laughs> we'll see the full effect of the effect paste um, once they're fully dry and once the gel has turned completely um, transparent. And there they are. So these are going to go onto my Christmas table. Just need to get some candles. I hope that you guys enjoyed um, this little demonstration <laughs> this little upcycling project and um yeah thank you so much for tuning in and i will see you guys um in the new year now i hope you all have a very very merry christmas and a lovely new year and i will see you all guys soon bye